Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Did you know that one in five people infected with HIV don't know it? Please do me a favor, get tested at your earliest convenience. I'm back home for my lunch break and I want to make a quick and easy meal. And I'll be making, you guessed it, potato omelets. This recipe is so simple. All you need is some potatoes, some eggs, some onion, and some tomatoes. Luckily for me, I have a garden and I can have some shallots fresh from the garden. You can go ahead and chop up your tomatoes, your onion, and your potatoes. I absolutely prefer cherry tomatoes for this recipe, but any tomatoes work well with this recipe. I'm adding some ground coriander to the hot oil. But if you don't have coriander, you can skip this step and just go on to add your potatoes into the hot oil. Scissor, scissor, scissor. Now we'll be adding our vegetables to the eggs, our onion, our tomatoes, our shallots, and our potatoes. By now, they should have crisped up lovely. Mm -mm -mm. I love how these potatoes came out. They smell so good and I'm sure they'll be tasting lovely. If you're like me and struggle with eating eggs or even struggle with the smell of eggs, this recipe, you should give it a try because it really gives a balance of the smell of the egg with the rest of the ingredients. This is a garlic addict a lot. I love garlic. I'm just adding some more garlic to make sure that garlicky flavor is in my omelet. After flipping my egg, it's disintegrated in the middle. Hopefully when you flip yours, it will come out perfect. And there we have it, the potato omelet. You can cut your omelet and serve it in smaller pieces. Just look at that layer of deliciousness. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe so that I can keep bringing you more easy peasy lemon squeezy recipes like this one. See you in the next one. Remember to keep calm and get tested for HIV if you haven't already. And hey. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe!